Hi, uh, I'm Alex Press, and I am going to give you a brief introduction to Vue.js, mostly comparing it to React, which you're all familiar with. It's uh, going to be pretty basic. I'm not going to go into any uh, big code examples, just small ones so that you get the idea of the structure. Uh, first, what is Vue.js? It is a lightweight JavaScript framework. Uh, it's designed to be easily adoptable and easily integrate with other libraries. Uh, some background on it is that it was made by Evan Yu, who was working at Google on AngularJS. It was released in two, uh, 2014, and uh, Evan Yu wanted to take what he saw as the best parts of Angular, uh, strip away some things he saw as less necessary, and create something a little bit better. Uh, some of the similarities between Vue and React are that they both utilize the virtual DOM uh, and then render that onto the, uh, the browsers. Uh, they provide reactive view components, and the focus is in the core library. For other uh, functionality like routing, uh, state management, you have to go to companion libraries. Uh, so, I'm going to give you a brief look at some not so high level view, just so that you have an idea of the structure of the templating. Uh, it's everybody's favorite. Uh, so you can see some similarities in, um, uh, in comparison to React, data instead of state, and then we render it onto the div with the same ID. Uh, another high level example, the for loop. Um, instead, we have access to the v4 function, which instead of using uh, vanilla JavaScript, we have this functionality. Um, now, those were templates. Uh, Vue actually has the ability to use either a template or JSX, whereas React is restricted to JSX. Templates uh, support JavaScript, but only to an extent. Uh, you can only use one sort of uh, one function in that double bracket that you're given. Um, and it can feel more natural to a developer who is more expo exposed to HTML. Uh, in looking online at developers' opinions on the two, I, it seemed some would be biased if that was what they were more accustomed to. But a huge advantage of it is that a template is then easy to migrate to existing applications. Uh, it's easy to convert older applications to view. Uh, the advantages of JSX uh, are that you have the full potential of JavaScript to build a view. A uh, disadvantage that some developers claimed was that you need to use e ES6. Uh, I don't see it as much of a disadvantage, uh, s though some claim that in doing a lot of that JavaScript code in there, uh, it maybe made it a little, little bit less readable, and that templates might be advantageous in that sense. Uh, JSX also has better tool support, i.e. linting. Um, so React only has one-way binding, where properties are passed down from components, and you're giving callback functions to manipulate them. Where, and uh, view allows you to use two-way binding, uh, where changes to the view are immediately reflected in the data model and vice versa. Uh, of course, you can do that in React, 
but it requires more code. Uh, I have a quick example. So here, using the V model in view, we can quickly render whatever we want immediately. Whereas in React, you need a lot more code that starts feeling a little bit like boilerplate-y. Uh, it, it ends up, uh, you, know, you have to bind a, a change handler. And for the same functionality, you probably need at least 10 more lines of code. So it's nice to be able to do something like that in a little bit more of a simple way. Uh, as far as the community in each view community, the, the community of view is still relatively small in comparison to, say, a React or Angular. Um, so what does that mean? It means you have less access to fully fleshed out libraries. Um, there are less job opportunities, say, in Vue if you want to look at it through a more pragmatic lens. Um, but it is rapidly growing. Uh, it's up to you. <laughs> what should you use? Um, I guess it depends on your own style. Vue is very adaptive. And who really knows the future in tech? Uh, Vue could be the next big thing. The job market for it could increase. Everything changes day to day. Uh, thank you for your time.